me? That's what I'm talking about. It's crazy, right? Okay, today's different. Check this out. I'm at actually holding a Gila monster. This is actually a very venomous lizard, and you know what? They don't even have any anti-venom for them. The good news is, they say nobody dies. They just say that they wish they died, because apparently you lose all bodily functions, things get really crazy, and you know what? Today we're gonna check out its counterpart, the Mexican beaded lizard. But we're not done yet. What do you guys think? Is this cool or what? Now here's the craziest thing about these guys. They're always hissy. They're always jumpy until you get them held for a minute. And the biggest thing is, look at the glands. Now most people don't know, but they actually can make like a fog with their venom. When they hiss, they can actually spray out of their mouth like a like a little hazy fog it probably hurt your eyes if you were let's say a coyote or something crazy now this is a this is a Mexican bee lizard you can see he's a lot bigger than a than a Gila monster but you know what size is not everything both have a they say the Gila's have a little bit worse bite and uh, this is incredible look at this guy is this cool or what I don't know but I wouldn't want to get bit by him because they claim like just like the Gila's you lose all bodily function you pee, you poop yourself, you scream, it's just miserable. And there's nothing they can do. No anti-venom of any kind for these. Is that cool or what? Can you imagine a Komodo dragon now that they're finding out that they're venomous? Look at that. Oh man, he wants me. And uh, it mostly, luckily, it's like a more of a, of a like scare tactic. But uh, can you imagine a giant, giant venomous lizard? You know, they claim, they always thought that the big Komodo dragons, it was always the venom... The venom that actually killed you wasn't venom, but it was actually just a bacteria that you ended up going away and it real fastly gets you infected and you die. But that's becoming really not what the most popular idea is, that they actually have grooves in their teeth. They're very dangerous. Obviously, they're dangerous. Forget the venom. A 300-pound lizard, you know, attacking you, a 400-pound lizard is probably a little bit scary, I think. I don't know. I'm actually planning on going to Komodo Island. Who thinks I should go to Komodo Island? If you think I should go to Komodo Island, make sure you pound that like key down below and say so. And uh, but this guy is pretty cool, right? And uh, they go, they can actually come in a different color. Down, if you get down way down to Guatemala and below, they actually are all black. Uh, there's a few different ranges, but you know what they all have in common? They're all venomous and they all are grumpy. <laughs> so this, I'll show you what a baby how they start out with. This one's been handled. Now I'm not even going to pick up the baby. So. But I'm gonna show them to you anyway. Let's shut this. Let's shut this so I don't get any surprises coming up my arm. So check this little dude out. Ooh. Ooh. Look at that. Look at that little dude. Now I guarantee you they're only quick. They're they're very, very hostile, typically as babies. Come here. Yeah, come on. Come on. Come on. Oh. Come on. You can see if this was my finger, I'd be bit a whole bunch of times because that's all he wants to do is bite me. And believe it or not, even though it's a little guy, don't kid yourself. He's still, I'm trying to get him calmed down a little bit. Now, I was told by a guy who tamed a lot of them, one of the best ways to do it is to actually get him over the whole hissing and stuff. By the way, I don't recommend this. Is you take a feather and you rub their back. And eventually, they get desensitized to touch. Now this guy's never been worked with, but I guess apparently we probably ought to work with him a little bit. Come on. Now the funny part is, is it's kind of true with big snakes that if you, you know, touch them to desensitize them a little bit, they realize they're not getting hurt. Now this is obviously defense mechanism. Now he's really, look at him arch his back up. So okay, so what I'm going to do if I'm going to pick him up, I'm going to take this and use it as a block, and then I'm going to pin him right behind his neck. As you can see, I would definitely get bit if I didn't do that technique. And I don't want to get bit. So this here is his glands right up in his head. So every time he bites down, he actually clamps that down. It expels venom that leaks through his whole gum line and, and he'll just chew it. When they grab somebody, they chew on them and just chew the venom into their into their skin. And like I said, whoa, look at that. That little dude's strong. I don't want to be too rough with him, obviously. But look at that. Is he cool or what? This is a miniature size of a of a monster. Look at how long the 
toenails are. Sometimes people think we don't cut the toenails, but there's a baby one to give you an idea. And uh, it's incredible. So we're going to put this little guy back. And uh, what do you guys think? Is he cute? I think he's pretty cute. I think that alone is worth a like. What do you think? Look at that. The venomous lizards. Pretty cool. So now let's tell a little story here while I'm putting this guy away. So we actually have... People are going to start finding a lot of cool stuff out that we didn't even know, even though we've been doing this for 20 years. Did you know that almost all lizards have a saliva that is actually toxic? And uh, like the monitor lizards? Now, we, I've never had it with a salvator, but we've had multiple people get bit by savannas and have an allergic reaction. And let me tell you, little green tree, little green tree monitors and stuff, which would make sense. They eat birds, they got long fangs, you know, the saliva. You know, like, I mean, all the rear, rear fang snakes that live in the same area, they all have it. They catch birds in the trees. So, pretty crazy anyway. So you're going to find out a lot more. Now, let's look at this guy again. Now, come on. So, there you go. So, now, so look, at, look at the jowls. Now, this, he's got big old fat jowls. And, and uh, this is all, like I say, all, all for having muscle strength. Now, see right there, look at that just total muscle strength in order to bite and chew that venom right into the right into its prey so it doesn't have to deal with it and of course they have great sense of smell and they're an amazing animal what do you guys think what's your most what's the most interesting thing you see about this guy I think he's pretty cool anyway and uh, obviously they come from Arizona I guess I left that part out they lay they can lay up to six to eight eggs and uh, they're pretty cool and they they uh, their eggs take months to hatch. It's pretty incredible. We'll put the exact amount of time on it. Because to be honest, I never bred these. These aren't my thing. They're for the zoo. They're great to display, great to show people, great for, you know, learning what to look like and what to not pick up. You never want to pick one of these up in the wild because I'll tell you, first of all, you go to jail because they're protected. They're an endangered species. And not to mention, that's if you're lucky enough not to be in the hospital. Because you saw how grumpy those other ones are. Well, I guarantee you, these in the wild are just as grumpy. This guy's been held quite a bit and got a great disposition. And uh, thought I would share him with you. So let's go look at another really cool, 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 cool lizard. Now, these come in banded and non-banded. We're going to show you an Asian banded lizard that's really cool. Okay, let's go. All that talk about Gila monsters and giant Komodo dragons, we had to pull out one of the second largest monitors in the world. These are, now, there's another monitor called a crocodile monitor. We have one of those too. We'll pull out maybe. And now, the crocodile monitors can be really, really long, but they have a long skinny tail. But these guys here get really big. They get real heavy bodied. This guy's a medium one. And uh, we're actually gonna probably Probably, I think we have one of the biggest ones in the world in our, and he's getting kind of old. He's actually Mr. Kipling's brother. Now this guy here is banded like a Gila monster. It's kind of funny. That's why I kidded around and say Gila monster. Like the, see the bands? So a banded Gila looks a lot like this, except, of course, except it's not shaped like this because this is an Asian water monitor. And these guys can lay 20, 30 eggs at a time. This is a boy. The boys get larger and they're pretty awesome. They roam around the banks of, of rivers and eat about anything they want to be honest they can eat they eat fish they eat birds they eat they don't eat vegetables <laughs> they're not a vegetarian they're pure meatosaurus these things are I mean they really like remind you of big giant raptors or something they're t the, these claws are all clipped so you can imagine what they look like and uh, look at that tongue that tongue can sense everything smell his dirty feet <laughs> anyway he <clears throat> And uh, they can they can really sense food with that really well in the night, in the day, anytime. And uh, they're really cool. They're actually one of my favorite lizards. I like big lizards. And uh, these things are awesome. What do you guys think? Is that cool or what? It's the Asian water monitor. Now, Asian water monitor is obviously a loose term because there's a lot of different subspecies that come from different parts, different islands. There's so many islands in Malaysia and Indonesia. And, you know, obviously Komodo Island is where the giant Komodos come from. So they do vary in color. This one here is called a morph. And it's uh, the morph because you see it's yellow. The yellow is not normal. It's normally they're kind of yellow and dark and uh, look a lot more normal. So this guy here has got high yellow and uh, it's really cool. And his name is Bumblebee and it's Bumblebee for a reason. 
and we're gonna go ahead and put him away. And what do you guys think? Is this cool or what? I like this more than the beetle lizards, but what about you? Would you like the venomous or do you like the cuddly? This guy wouldn't be so cuddly in the wild, it is. So this is his temporary hangout. We have a visitor that told us, you know, we always give up the big room for the visitor. So he's hanging out in here for a few days because we have we have actually big old boy. He's uh, in the front room where this guy normally lives. Come on. Okay, you guys, so we got a lot of cool stuff. So I'm thinking maybe, maybe we ought to bring that crocodile monitor out for another video. So what about you guys pound that like key? And let's see, if we get 3,000 likes, that's realistic. You guys can do that all day. We get plenty of views. So if you get that, pound that like key, we're going to do one on the crocodile monitor by itself. It's one of the most dangerous monitors. Its teeth cut through anything. The truth is I don't like to even hold them. And so you guys with me will actually pull out that crocodile monitor and handle them for the first time as, a, as like handle them. And that's a little spooky. I'm going to wear gloves for a minute because I'll just tell you this. I've seen what these, the first time I ever seen one, it ripped. These are not good pets. Now, some people have them and they can be very tame, but I'll just tell you, they're very dangerous. The first time I ever seen them, the first one that was ever brought in the United States, put 57 stitches or so in a friend of mine's arm and it was, she was not happy. Blood everywhere, I had to hold her arm together. It was such a mess, so. But I will be really careful, guys, because you know what? I don't want a bunch of ripped, I don't want to be ripped up. But meanwhile, just so that you guys don't feel like I let you down, check that out. Is that cool or what? He's never boring. That's Big Lou. And uh, there's Darth Gator. Darth Gator's down the bottom, underneath here, hanging out. And uh, I hope you had a good time. Tell us your favorite part about the video. And shoot, ask some questions. Tell us what, tell, tell us what you want to see next. Hope you had a good time. Prehistoric Pets TV, baby. Pound that like key and don't forget to follow us.